Bum, 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 bum. I assume you're doing daily updates in Morocco? Absolutely. Of course I will be. A tough game here. Okay, I'm going to play c6d5, I guess, and, and keep going. Maybe bishop g4. Uh, let's take and go here. I'm going to go rookie eight and knight f8. This is the other way you set up here. Play knight e6 to hit the bishop. Goes d5, which is definitely a move, but it's not the move I thought was best. Bishop g4 is probably just a bad move by me, but okay, let's think for a second. Now, I could go c5 here. I go c5, um, d c5 takes. I'm gonna go c5. I don't, I don't necessarily like it or love it, I should say, but I think it's kind of okay. He's gonna go d6 somewhere. Really, actually, I think now I'm not gonna take the knight. I was gonna take initially, but with the structure here now. I think I'm going to try to keep the bishop on the board. If I have g5, I have b6, I have rook c8 also. Hope to take a picture with you in Morocco. Morocco, luckily, will be much more chill than the candidates because in the candidates, Jose lost a streak, by the way. So if I win here, there's a good chance that I'll win the event. Um, but what I was going to say is that um, uh, with Morocco, yeah, it's going to be a lot more chill than a uh, lot more chill than the candidates was because specifically, I don't have to rush back to my room and do a recap every five minutes. Um, the way that I had to with the candidates. Like, that's one thing I hate about the candidates. Is like, they should have done something on the rest day or something like that, I feel like. Um, okay, I think I'm going to go here to tickle the knight. Because I always have g5 here later. Um, okay, let's... I guess... I can play b6, but rook c8 seems reasonable with b6 later. Logical move. I kind of want to go g5 here. Kind of. And drop the juicer back to g6 here. Can always take his knight on h2 not so well placed i probably want to go h6 f5 f4 if i can if i want to i could play f5 right here by the way because f5 takes rookie two f5 takes rookie two takes 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 that looks good this takes i have rookie two i think i'm in very good shape suddenly because now the knight's very passive i think he just missed that i have rookie two um yeah, it would have been nice if they could have done some other way. The candidates was fine. I mean, the venue was fine for me. I don't know about other players. Oh, but he does this one, which I didn't see at all either. So I'll go here. He's not going to take. Wait, that's... Oh, wait, no, I don't have rookie... Oh, I thought I had rookie three, but I don't. Wait a second, wait a second. This should be a mistake somehow, though. This feels like a mistake. There should be two... 27 bishop... Um, Something feels wrong here something feels wrong but i don't maybe i just go here maybe i just go here takes in here takes 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 and that i assume that's correct it feels loosey-goosey kind of unless i'm missing something it, it looks just too loosey-goosey but queen b2 queen d3 queen d4 this should be winning for me unless i'm missing something very obvious ah Okay, so we go here, of course. Take. Take. I mean, this should just be very good for me. I mean, it's not like it's win it's not cleanly winning for sure. Go here. I want to cover the E5. Uh, queen D3 was also maybe a move. Maybe. Maybe Queen D3. Eh, I don't know. Queen D3, Bishop of 2, Beast. Eh, hard to judge. But at least here I cover the diagonal. Which is probably the most important thing. You know, four. Okay, but now... Well, I think I have queen d4, which is probably good, but... I'm just going to go b6 and consolidate my position here a little bit. Logical. Um, good check. Oh my god, I just blundered. Oh my god, I just threw the game. I just blundered. I missed bishop up. Oh my god, I just threw this game. Oh my god, what the heck was that? Ugh the fridge was that okay now i have to go all in i just threw this game away i had it all one and i threw it very disappointing let's go here i guess i have rook here i guess i go here or something So bad. So bad. Okay, 
Uh, here. He has to draw if he wants it, but... Um, okay, I'm not up a lot of time here. We'll take. It's just a draw. Okay, it's just a draw. At least I didn't lose the game. At least I didn't lose the game. It's not what I wanted, but at least I didn't lose the game. Because that 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 that, don't, that doesn't kill my rating. He he was so slow because of the critical moment. He basically um he missed the winning concept. Like he spent two to three seconds trying to get the king in front of the pawn, and that's what cost him the win. Otherwise, he would have won the game. Yeah. Now it's game on again, though, which is kind of annoying, honestly. Wait. There's castle here. NVIDIA down 5% away. I think the Fed news is going to be good, but this is my guess. Just my guess, but I think the Fed news is going to actually be good. Let's go here, hit the bishop. Why is that a draw? Um, because I have no way to mate him, basically. Um, I'm going to go here and just take the pawn, maybe. There's also knight a4, knight c5 idea somewhere in here, too. I mean, it's knight g6, too, I suppose. And of course, I realize on knight of seven, there's queen. Oh, there's queen e8. I could sack the queen, but I don't think that's what I want to do. So I'm just going to go here. Of course, bishop f4 is a terrible move too. He's very slow though. So that's a mistake though because now I take take and I'm fine it's not a big mistake but it's a mistake nonetheless because takes her bishop g4 and he was better oh wait if I take you some queen e3 trick oh come on so I guess I have to go here so if I take just there which I can sack here actually if I take take Knight of four, rook of four. Wait, I think I'm going to go for it. Actually, I'm going to go for this. Takes, takes. I think I'm okay. Because check, check, I have king f1. I think I'm okay here. And I'll, I'll pre-move this in case he takes. I don't I don't think he will. Yeah, Jose probably is a tough game too, though. Because if, if I'm if I have this kind of game, he's got a tough game too. New York Times said we haven't haven't had inflation for a while. That means inflation will never be a problem. I know here in the real world, when you go to Costco every day and you see the prices of things, it's not a joke. Is it a safe premium? This is absolutely a safe premium because there's no move that he can play that that is uh that wouldn't allow it. Okay, he goes to f6, which is actually I think the best. I think that's the best move in the position. I mean I have to take, which is not really what I want to do, but I should be fine here. Okay, I don't like d4 at all, by the way. He just literally just helped me get an end game, and now I'm just going to put the knight on c4 and win. Go here. Yeah, I, I don't understand this at all. Because now I have knight c4, and I mean, it's just terrible. I even have g3, rook g2. Oh, wait, he's got queen d6, which I actually did not see. That's actually dangerous. I missed that. Um, It's actually a good move that I completely overlooked. King h1 takes knight c4, queen c7, queen c7. I don't have a that's a good move that I missed. I guess I'll go h3. I don't like it, but I think I'm okay. I have queen f5 here, maybe. 
I have rook f2 also. Knight c4 also. And I'm, I'm not playing a super precise. I will say that. Like, I'm definitely trying hard to put him, put him under pressure on the clock. Like, Jose won his game. If I take... No, I think I go here. I've got to get to an end game. If I get to an end game, he just loses no matter what. Now I have queen e8 to force the end game. And now I just win. Yeah. And now I just win the game. So the time situation uh, is um, impossible to deal with. Keep going. Next game. QK shouldn't beat any top players in the candidates. Well, so be it. Whatever. The candidates is what it is. The pairings are what they are. Like being upset about that is, um, let's just say, not not the right thing to be upset about. Okay, now I, I got I got a, I get a guy who's playing a bad opening. So this is a game where I'm, I need to try and win quickly. How much coffee do I drink? Usually like two cups a day, two or three cups depending. I feel very slow this morning actually. So. Go here. Like, I'm trying hard to create counterplay this game. Like, I'm trying to win this game quickly. So I'm not being precise here. Because it's a slightly dubious opening, is what I would say. Hallelujah. Wait, I could take... I could take, but I'm not... Oh, wait, but if I go to A4... Uh... Okay, so I guess I have to go for this. This isn't really what I want to do. Let's go here and take... This one, I'm definitely trying to win quickly, though. I'm trying hard to win this one quickly. I saw that move. Annoying. I was, hoping he, I was hoping he wouldn't see it, but he did. Wait. There's no trick here? That's so annoying. I was hoping there was some trick, but there wasn't. It's not yet time to sack. If this were later in the event, I would take on H6 and go for glory. Go here. All right, let's take. Guys defending very well, too. Kind of annoying. The free pawn. Yeah, this guy's defending annoyingly well. Like, I wanted to win this game quickly, but he's defending. I'll still win the game, but it's not going to be the, the, the quick win that I wanted. I guess I'll go here. Oh, and now I just blundered rook c4, too. What the heck is wrong with me? Okay, let's go here. Wait, no, I don't have bishop c3. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. So I'll go back. This is not a threefold. Um, What am I doing here? What am I doing, actually? This is a legitimately a serious question here. I'm trying hard to win this game quickly, and in the process, I'm just messing it all up. Unbelievable. Ridiculous. the heck this is incredibly strange yeah yeah I mean we already know it's like whatever whatever let's go here 
Jose lost too. Did Jose just lose to 2,500 as well? Yeah, the, the time usage there was definitely, um, shall we say, unusual. But like I always say these days, chess.com will look at the accounts and they'll make their decisions. No, I mean, that, that looked... That looked very, very strange. Very strange. That felt really, really strange. The time usage in particular felt really strange. Um, let's go, go, uh, here, I guess. Play Rook D1. The last one was like a perfect three seconds. I looked at the clock and the moment you're down a piece. <laughs> Well, it's what I say to everybody these days. Like, chess.com will look at the accounts. They'll, they'll, they'll decide. Like, they are ultimately the, the people who decide. Um, so, yeah. Um, I guess I'll go here. Maybe just take with the pawn. Maybe take with the knight. I don't really want to trade the, the bishops. I don't want to give him a file to use. Perseverance matters according to Jose Martin, uh, Jose who? Let's go here. According to um, JC Abara. Yeah, JC Abara is, um, he's a good player, by the way. I, I like his play. Uh, this gives me knight h6 and queen g4. I also have queen g4 right away. Um, one's right. Knight h6, king h8, queen g4. Wait, if I take, take knight f6, queen e7, I'm fine. Rook d8, queen g yeah, I think this is okay. Knight f6, queen e7. No way for him to trap the queen there, I don't think. Bornix at JC Abara is not that good. No, JC Abara, JC Abara maybe by actual talent. I don't know if I put him in as a top tier player, but I think by actual preparation that he comes up with, yeah. Oh, I didn't play a great game against 2500, but he also played... Um, he, uh, he also found a couple of incredible moves. Like, he started playing perfectly. The last, like, probably 10 moves of the game, he played perfectly. Yeah. No, but the thing is, the 2540 is, is like, literally an X, is, like, a 2,000 level player, if that. Okay, let's go here. Okay, now I should be on my way to a dub. Um, well, he's got knight c2. It's not that easy to prove. Um, knight f5, knight c2. Yeah, I think I'm looking to sack on g7 here and go bishop h6. But now I just now I just trade. I'm just up a pawn. Now now I'm just I'm just up a pawn here, and I should just be winning. Uh, JC Abara is a I believe Mexican grandmaster who live streams quite a bit. I, I actually like I like I like his uh, his stuff. Let's take. Oh, he takes with the rook. I did not expect that. I'll just go here. No, now now I should just win. I thought he had to take with a pawn. If I take, what's he going to go? He's going to go rook f7, I assume. Mm, not so easy. Mm, not so easy to prove at all, actually. So if I take... We'll go here. A knight g3, maybe. I'm better, but I feel like I'm letting this slip just a touch. I'm still better, but it's... It's not the dream. But once I, once, I, once I get to put my piece on the right squares here and I bring the rook over, I should just win the game. Um, let's just go here. Pressure the pawn. I've got rook d1, f3. I mean, now, now everything's slightly collapsing. Go here. Hit the pawn. Uh, I guess I'll just take right away. I always have 94 in my back pocket. Just a question when to use it. I think now I'll use 94. Go here. Only move, of course, but now he just resigns. Okay, let's go. Oh, he's from Spain. Sorry, he's from Spain, not Mexico. Okay, wrong country. But yeah, I mean, his preparation is his random preparation against some of the openings like that I play or others play is pretty good at times. It's pretty good. I think if you get him out of the opening and, and it's just a balanced position, probably he's not super strong. But his opening preparation is pretty good, actually. Do I sell merch? Uh, I have sold merch. I sold some merch right before the cancel. Did I watch new C-squared? I don't know why people keep asking me that question. Um, but uh, we want 3,300 today. I mean, my goal first and foremost is to get to 30, 32. Back to 32 and then worry about everything.
that's my goal I also had b4 right away which was probably just better but if d5 I can just take pawn I think am I missing something here maybe knight takes was knight takes just could have just played knight takes what am I doing could have just played knight takes 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 and I'm just up a pawn it's ridiculous by me I'll still probably survive but that wasn't very smart I think I'm gonna go 95 to hit the bishop and probably just takes not great but it's okay not gonna lie I, I don't like I, I don't like Fabian a Christian duo haven't watched a single full episode uh-huh I mean there's good and bad to it is what I would say there's good and bad of course I take I go rookie eight he has 97 or some cheesiness I think I should just go here to take away the square I think I am at home oh no 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 34 50 before Casablanca no chance no chance you guys you're crazy old hog um you guys were saying who did who did draws me Faustino yeah Faustino is getting better but again it's so early in his career that I mean I I, I don't want to like I, I think we've got a long way to go before he gets there let's go here hit the knight did I just blunder knight no 97 I just take the queen okay I'm gonna go uh here I'm trying to threaten f6 as well this might just be winning for me but I'm not sure wait but now I go check and I just take the knight and I win the game okay there we go okay this is a nice quick win actually in the situation nice quick win here yeah let's keep going no no gonna be a long long time oh what lesson if you say you learn any lesson from the candidates did you learn I didn't learn any lessons I'm basically what I learned actually you know you know what I learned from the candidates is that it's um what I learned from the candidates is there's a time and it's not the first time I felt this way but where like I just wish I could have had the mentality that I have now 10 years ago if I could have had the same mentality that I have now 10 years ago I think I could have competed with Magnus but my mental was so incredibly weak up until the pandemic like I would say my, my my mental was somewhere around like I'd say if we're being honest like maybe a 50 a little bit above 50 and now it's like a 99. so if there's one thing that I learned from the cancer even just in general the last like year or two is that I just really wish I could have I wish I just wish somehow I could have had the same mental abilities I have now 10 years ago but of course the irony is you can't ever it doesn't work like that like I would not have the same mental uh mental that I have now if not for everything that's happened so like it's, it's very much a catch-22 um but that's maybe the one thing is that I just wish I kind of wish that um I wish I, I wish I could have had the mental abilities now 10 years ago that's maybe the one thing that I wish but you know life doesn't work like that you know life just doesn't work like that unfortunately so yeah it's just what it is 50 million helps the mental lot yeah <laughs> I'm talking sort of the mental skills like the mental side of chess the psychology not not so much like actual mental not being mentally insane um let's go here and hit the queen but yeah like that, that that's the irony is that like it's like I that's maybe the one thing I wish I wish I could be the uh let's go here as long as I'm not hanging something in the center I'm fine um that's maybe the one thing I wish um I think I'm gonna go here and trade trying to make sure I'm not blundering something obvious but yeah yeah that's maybe the, that's that's probably the only thing that I wish that's the only thing that I wish it's hard to be sad in your private jet yes exactly you guys that's probably one thing that, that like over the last like year or so that it's like it's tough because I look at these events and I just like I I feel like with the candidates like I feel like I probably have one or two more left in me um 
but the fact is like just if I go back 10 years and I'm playing the way I play now I bet that I have like five or six candidates which I could make a run at it but you know that's just how it goes like it's just you know light life is uh life is what it is as we like to say now I am better here but I have to find some moves uh AB3 rookie I guess I'll just take Knight H4 I think I can take I think not 100% sure but I think so when is the last time you flew economy oh I flew economy um wait a second gotta be careful go here I flew economy last night back to Los Angeles so um there's your answer <laughs> there's your answer <laughs> If I had my mental now, I when I was 20, I would get all the girls. Well, no kidding. Anyway, okay, let's go here, hit the queen. I don't know if I can take, but I'm going to do it anyway. Somehow I've misplayed this, of course, but it's still fine. But yeah, maybe if there's one thing I would say that that's probably the one thing that I wish. Oh, great. Did I just blunder again? I did, didn't I? Oh, I kind of did. Wait, but I've got F5 and Knight H3 now. Wait, I've got Knight H3. I've got Knight H3 here. Because I, cu I cut the queen off. Yeah, I cut the queen off and now I go here and Queen H4 and now I'll win the game. Okay, now I think I can just go. Wait, I gotta. Be, I still have to be careful. It's not trivial. Wait, 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 wait. Slow down. Think for a second. How do I made him? No, no, no. Not King H6. Wait, wait. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Not H4. Um. What the heck is this? Fifteen. Okay, it was rookie eight. Um. There we go. Now we won. Okay, next game. Views on Jocelyn versus Kramnik. I already said it. I already said it earlier. Um, I don't view it in a positive light. Is what I would say. I don't view it in a positive light because honestly, I, I think you're gonna you're gonna start to see, as expected, a huge difference between playing over the board versus online and then also increment versus no increment. So I'm not optimistic about it. Truth be told, I'm not. Um, because I, I see no, I see no upside and only downside. That does, I, I'm, I basically I expect more drama out of it. I don't, which honestly, for some things is good, some things is not good. Some things is good, some things is not good, is what I would say. Some things is good, some things is not. That, that's the bottom line. Like, it, it's, it's good and it's bad. That's the bottom line. So, okay, um, let's keep going. Knight c3. Oh, I was, I was gonna go knight d2 and then I played knight c3. That's what I would say. We'll go here maybe e5 maybe just castles upside is jocelyn makes 50k i thought they were putting up 10k for the whole thing that's that was my understanding i thought it was like ten thousand dollars or something but maybe i'm crazy let's take and go bishop d5 go actually no let's go bishop c2 and e5 next move Any candidate probably really wanted to play, but could No, actually, I spoke about the candidates. You know, one thing that was very disconcerting to me in the candidates was that I felt like Jan... I mean, obviously, it's a joke, so don't take it the wrong way, but somehow Jan Nepomniachtchi was playing the exact same lines that I actually had prepped, which was disturbing me. It was very disturbing because what he played against Ali Reza was the exact line that I looked at that morning before my game against Vidit. Um, that's one example. He played the exchange Petrov, which I, of course, against Abasov, which, of course, I later played too since Nepo messed up his move order. Um, so it was, I was kind of disturbed actually by, um, 
by the fact that Nepo is literally playing the exact same things I was. But on the other hand, you could say Nepo is probably the best prepared player in the world, having played the World Championship match a couple of times. So maybe that's just a huge compliment. Like, you could also make that argument that maybe it's just a massive compliment. No, there's no double agent, but like that that's that's the flip side of the coin. You'd be like, well, actually, that's that's pretty um that's pretty uh pr pretty um that, that's like a, that's that means that I was looking at the right stuff probably. Let's go work C1 and trade some pieces here. Um, I think I'm gonna go here. And then rook, rook C1. Should be fine. Yeah. Okay, control sis, you you want to you want to get into the top because I know people try to say they're the same thing. They're not the same thing as, at all. First things first, when when you get really upset over over chess matches and you get really upset and you're you're steamed, like you will say things. Make no mistake, that has happened. The first thing is that. The second point is obviously times evolve, and you will notice it even for myself. Like I look at a lot of these things now, and I'm very mellowed out about the whole thing. That's the second thing. The third point that I'm gonna make is that I don't go on for months and months trying to like yell at certain players over and over and accuse them of cheating. Like everybody gets gotten steam. Fabiano basically has gotten steam too over, over games that he's lost. Like make no mistake. But there's a huge difference between getting steamed in the in the heat of the moment and then going on for months and months and trying trying to like accuse people of cheating. Like I, I love it when people say that. Like they're like, oh yeah, but you accuse people of cheating, completely missing the context and missing the fact that like I've actually I've actually learned a lot from these experience. Yeah, I mean I've learned a lot from it. Like you you should evolve and be better in, going forward. That's why you won't that, that's why you'll see that I'm not the same like I don't I don't do that anymore because like I've realized that I, that's not the first assumptions get really heated and assume that but that doesn't mean that's the truth and so I find it hilarious when people try to say well yeah he car did the same thing well sure I've gotten steamed over games everybody has but there's a massive difference between the two things um let's go uh let's go here I just, I just find it funny actually I find it funny that people try to compare the two go f4 here attack the bishop and knight c7 yeah I, I just find I find it comical that there are people who try to say it's the same thing when it's not even remotely close like I'll give you an example it's like if, if I lose a game against um if I lose a game against uh against Jose for example I might get really seen be like man he beat me like it's so upsetting that I lost the game but you're not going to see me come back tomorrow and be like oh yeah Jose he's a cheater you're not going to see that that's the difference that's actually the legitimately the difference is you're just not going to see that so um let's keep going yeah that, that's exactly the difference like I might get seen you know, I might lose a game here against some 2500 be like well chess.com can look at the games and whatever but you're not gonna see me tomorrow be like okay this guy he was cheating or like in a month see me like on the same thing about this guy was cheating like you're not gonna see it everybody gets heated in the in the every everybody can get heated in the moment but you don't see people continue it for weeks or months on edge on on end I should say and that's actually the difference and that's why I find it funny when people try to compare the two because they're not remotely similar Go C5. We're playing the Mackinist. I'm gonna go here. I'm, I'm looking to play C4, I think, somewhere. Go here. Has A5, Queen A7. I should be fine. Yeah. I'm taking with the Knights if he takes. I assume I can do something over here and mate him. I thought I'd see four. I guess not. Uh, I'm just gonna castle. I guess I have to be a little bit careful. I'm missing. I don't have a lot of pieces on the king side here, which is kind of a little bit scary, but it should be okay. Um, let's go back. It takes. I just take. Maybe I go 94 somewhere. Maybe depending. Logical. I'm gonna go 94 now. Now it's gonna get a little bit chaotic. So I'm probably gonna trade or play rook d8. Or Bishop D5. Actually, Bishop D5 looks... Eh. Takes, takes. Bishop C5. Knight D7. I'm going to go here. I'm definitely looking to play in the center of the board now. There's going to be some chaos here very soon. Yeah. Let's go here. But yeah, I mean, I see, I see people talk about these things and try to say it's the same thing. It's not the same thing at all. Not even close. Not even close. And I just, I find it bizarre how people try to, 
how people look at things these days like the the, the justifications for a lot of things just they, they i find them very baffling Like, no, nobody actually really wants to look and see what people say about various topics anymore. It's just like, it's in the, in the moment, it's like you see something, you automatically assume that's the truth. You, you, nobody uses their brain anymore. And it's very sad to see, actually, on, on a deeper level. Um, it's very sad to see, not going to lie. Um, now, I thought I had bishop c5 here, because the knight is loose, and now I can run with the king. This is, I think this works, but check king h7, I'm fine. I'm guarding everything here. I think I'm okay here. Never seen Jossman OTB chess. Well, it's like I made another point. And this is where, like, this is what I find most comical about it. So, like, everybody's views evolve. So, like, a lot of people are saying, well, you see, Tyler can only get to 1500. He can't be better than that. You're an idiot. You're wrong. Whatever. Now, when I make those comments, that's based on two things. First of all, it's based on the world that I grew up in in chess, where people could only get to a certain level playing over the board. That's the first thing. Um, and then the second thing. Um, is that I did not expect Tyler to actually go and spend 12 hours every single day playing chess. Because any normal adult is going to spend a couple of hours at most per day playing chess, and they're not literally going to be doing it for 12 hours a day. So those two things in conjunction obviously make the situation quite a bit different. Um, and so it's funny how people then it's like, in, instead of actually looking at what I'm saying, it's like, they, they, they're like, oh, but you said it, you're wrong, you don't know what you're saying, blah, 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 etc., etc. So anyway, let's keep going. Take. I feel like somehow I misplayed this just a little bit. But I think I'm still winning. So I think I can actually just walk my king over. I should be winning. I'm a little bit confused as to whether I'm win actually winning this, though. Oh, did I have rook c? I had rook c5, which was just winning. Oh my god! And now, of course, he spots it. Oh, great! I'm trying to cut his king off a little bit here. I'm still going to win this game, but it's tricky. The king f5. Okay, now I go here. Because now I tricked him. Now, now I tricked him. Because it's, it's my move here. Yeah, I tricked him now. I think he's lost. I think e5 might be the only move. Um, How do I z ziggy zaggy him is the question. Maybe I go for a zugzvang. Go here. Now I can check him and walk the king up. Here. Yeah, now I just won the game. Yeah. Yeah, we got the win. Good stuff. Good win. <clears throat> Good win. Play black. Play black? No, we're not. We're not playing black in this game. Nope. Good stuff. All right, let's keep going. Where's my water? Do you vote? What do you mean? Do I vote? All right. Go e4. If I win this game, I'm gonna win the tournament. But if I don't win this game, I'm probably not gonna. Well, it's still gonna be very much a tournament, shall we say? Yeah, he's gonna go for this, so I take. This is the one where I think you're supposed to play bishop b5, if I remember this correctly. It's been a while since I've played this line, actually, um, with either color. Let's go knight b3. <laughs> what is queen v6? That's just a bad move. Um, all right, that's not how you get it done. That's just not how you get it done. Mm-hmm. Unlucky. That's really unlucky for Jose, because that's a free win for me. Which means I'm probably going to win now. That's really unlucky for Jose, because I get like a 10 second win against a really good player. So if he's playing a good player, uh, he's probably going to have to play a long game. Go here, a knight c6, of course. Bum, ba -da -da -dum. Ba -da -da -dum. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 
Uh, I'm gonna trade the Queens here. I'm gonna play an end game, I think. That's what I want to do. Do I play Magnus in Morocco? Uh-huh. Now we're in business. I should win the event. Right, he's trying to put his knight on e4, but his knight is not actually as good as my knight. I played h6 to stop at bishop g5. I did to try and trade these bishops. Is Magnus always keeping himself at events? Generally, yes, he is. Uh, I'm going to go here on king d7. No, he is. He definitely keeps himself much more than other players. If you had one message to your younger self, what would it be? Well, that, that, that relates to what I said about Vancouver, where I got a little bit emotional. Um, when Fiona and Hammer on stream, you know what I would say to my younger self? I would say, you know what? Enjoy the ride. You know, life, life is so short. Like we oftentimes forget how short it truly is. Enjoy the ride. That's what I would say. I would say, enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. Because it's like, you know, I went to Canada in April of 2008, and that, that really was very transformational on many different levels. Um, for, for where I'm at today and um and, and so like I would just tell myself enjoy the ride don't stress out so much enjoy the ride things are going to work out that's what I would say enjoy the ride things are actually going to work out you're going to be playing the candidates in Canada 16 years later with a chance to win it and um just enjoy the ride that's what I would tell my younger self stop stressing stop being so angry at the world all these other things also tell your younger self to buy 10 bit Bitcoin 10 cents of course obviously okay I'm gonna start pushing the P on the King side here how would I know okay, I'm gonna start pushing the P on the King side of or the Queen side I can also push on the King side too um I think I'm gonna go here I'm looking to open it up here like I'm gonna go here and rook b8 it was a4 which looks strange to me um uh, because now I'm gonna play h5 and I start playing on both sides feels a little bit strange he could go h4 to try and draw but I think he's a little bit too slow here because I'm gonna I'm gonna actually push b3 at some point and tie the rook down to this pawn now I'm gonna tie this rook down and now I'm gonna start playing on this side of the board too um go here like I'm, I'm trying to play on all sides here of the board he's trying to clog the toilet like I see his idea he's trying to just clog the toilet but I'm, I'm gonna get tricky here And he's also too slow on time. There's just no way he's going to be successful at clogging the toilet. I think I'm too fast now because I just crashed through. Yeah, I'm just too fast here. Check and should be winning somehow here. Oh my god, did he have rook f1 there? He might have had a rook f1 idea. I think I I think I actually I think he had a I think he had a rook f1 idea there. Wait, okay, just slow it down. No no nonsense. Okay, let's go again. He did, didn't he? Do, 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 I'd like two easy pairings here. Go again. Let's go E6. Do I think three digit evil players are true? I'm um, true, whatever. I don't know.
David Howell sold the car on every CCT stream and has never apologized. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of trolls in here. Like, people like to selectively remember certain things and, and forget other things, obviously. Let's go 97 here. Just Castle, of course. Yeah, it's kind of funny how selective people are with their memories about various things. Do, 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 I just wandered upon because I'm not paying attention either. Yeah, I guess I'll go here. I have some play here, but let's see what we got. Close G5. Um, I mean, I have 95 first. Wait. Let's go here. I think I'm winning here, actually. Let's take. Goodbye. Yeah, I should I should be completely fine here. He goes 94, but first of all, I can take the pawn. I mean, if I want to. I also have queen a2, maybe. Queen a2, I, I think it's more important to stabilize the position than go crazy. Also, I have rook c2 here, don't I? Yeah, because the knight's not actually under attack here, so I'm actually completely fine. Oh, my rating, by the way, spiked a lot because I'm beating these top guys suddenly. Yeah, I just realized my rating's actually on a, on a big grind up again. We're at 3215. I just noticed that. Um, I can go rook c3. Queen f4, though. Um, knight d6 is a tricky move. It's a sneaky move and a tricky move. I'm gonna go knight c6. So I want to activate the bishop. I also have rook c1. That's a logical move, but I think it's a bad move. So queen b4. Oh, we got rookie four, maybe. Hmm. I'm starting to feel the je ne sais quoi, but I don't know how to punish him. I'm gonna go here. I'm starting to feel the je ne sais quoi. Like there's some tack. Like maybe rook c1 and queen b1 even. No, this is terrible. He's got queen f4, which I completely overlooked. But maybe I can check and slide the queen in from behind. Like, I feel like I should be winning here somehow. Um, I'll go check. I'm going to go here. If I can just force an end game again, I think I just went on time, basically. It's knight f1, but does that actually do anything? Wait a second. It might be a good move. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I have to be very careful here because I have misplayed this. I have completely misplayed this. If I win this game, I win the event, basically, is the point. Okay, now I just flag him. Oh, I didn't realize he had that one also. Let's go again. He just resigns. Yeah. No, because Jose's going to have to win three games in a row before I win one. So if I win the next one mathematically, there's no chance. Unless he gets like 1,900, it's over. Yeah, like as long as I focus and I win this game, I win Arena Kings. Because what is currently a... Um, Yeah. 
Baki can't deal with the speed demon. Of course, let's go here. Wait, don't I just have B four ninety four here? Let's take. Pretty terrible for my opponent. Let's go here and trade the bishop. Pretty terrible. Um, just take. He's trying to attack, which actually looks kind of scary, I'm noticing. I guess I just go e6. And take with f pawn. And go queen f6. I mean, he's trying to go all in, but I don't think it's working, really. Yeah, it's just not working. Because I. Er. Actually, it's not. It's, it's not working, kind of, but I. It shouldn't be working, but I feel like I've got to bring my piece in really fast here. It's not as trivial as I feel like it should be. I'm going to go A4 next move. It's a little bit scary, actually. I think I'm winning, but it's a little scary. Okay. Um... This is okay. I have A4. Jocelyn did win, though. And he won quickly, so... I've said it many times. Jocelyn is much better at cheesing people than I am. I mean, I should be okay here. I mean, he's trying to find something, but I don't see it. I go rook h6. Queen f4, king g7 or something. I go here. Place knight h4, which I don't think is best. I go here and I walk the king away. Also, I have a3, a2, which is very scary, too. Like, I'm threatening to just push P up the board. Okay. Yeah, now I walk the king away. And once the king gets hidden... Once I hide my king on, like, d6, I should be... Oh, he's, I missed this, actually. Uh, I missed this move. Wait. Uh, what the heck? I go e5, knight f5 too risky um wait, what the heck i think i just go here and push pawns push p i'm gonna win the game but i've messed this up quite a bit I'm gonna go knight before and win the game, but I made a mess out of this though. I made a big mess out of this game. I'm gonna go if I go. If F6 I go here, stop the pawn. I should be winning here. As long as I don't mess this up, I mean, I'm going to win. Oh, wait, no, I can't go E2. I can take here, I guess. I just allow some repetition with Queen F1. I might have. Uh-oh. I hope not. I don't think it's a repetition. I think I'm running my king out. Go so here, I guess. Yeah, now I win the game. Okay, I go d5 and now I activate. Yeah, now I also have e2. Start pushing the p. Make a queen and make a queen. There we go. There's a win. Next game, let's go again. Yeah, it's a 10 point lead so even if jose wins he has to win three games
And Jose lost. We get the win. I think we get the win in Arena Kings. I'm pretty sure this 1,000 does not count. So I'm pretty sure we're going to get the win. Um, let's just go H3. I mean, JD Hershey might be streaming. I doubt it, but maybe. That should be it. I'm pretty sure the 1,000 doesn't count. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see. Of course, I shouldn't have allowed that, but whatever. Okay. Go here, hit the queen. I guess I'll just take. Why not? Go C3. Maybe I'll go here and hit the knight. Knight D4 an idea as well. Maybe. Go here, hit the knight. Ah, uh, that was a bad move, actually. Bad move. And Raz was a good player, so he spots it. This doesn't look quite right to me somehow. Um, the rook. Go here, maybe. I'm trying to do something on the king side here. I'd like to win this game and finish on a really high note, basically. Go here, I guess. Hmm. No, that wasn't right. What am I doing? I'm still better. I'm really squeezing him here, though. This is a bad position for black. Gonna brought walk the king up. Don't I have this with like rook d8? Yeah, this should just be winning here. Trying to attack here, he is, but go here. Um, should just be winning. There we go. All right, we got the win. Yeah, good stuff. Yeah, we're gonna get the win in in um in Arena Kings. Hikari, you got the rating back because twenty five hundred was banned. Oh, really? That's why I got the rating back. Okay. This isn't gonna count, but so I'm gonna go use the restroom quickly, and we'll be right back. Give me one second. I don't want to lose this game because I played two moves. It might auto count as a loss. There we go. All right. All right, you guys are back. Bathroom Gambit, indeed, you guys. So we're going to get the win in Arena Kings, obviously. Um, it's all good. It's all good. Why does chess players, why does chess players every major tournament give everything away by, yep, there we go, game aborted. And there are the standings, you guys. There are the windows, there are the standings. We have the winner with 89 points out of 27 games is Grandmaster Hikaru. Second place is Jay Duche with 82 points out of 22. Third place is Jose Martinez Alcantara. Jose probably gets second, I'm betting. I doubt number two is streaming, but maybe his. I can click on his, is he streaming? Is this guy streaming, Jay Duche? No, he's just playing. But I like his profile picture, though. I like his profile picture. He's um he's chilling on the slopes. So he's got a good profile picture.